it's your boy Rico. And Sam. And today is you and our ABCs of trans. We're going to cover everything underwear that has to do with trans men or trans masculine folk that pack. Um, let's start with packing underwear. Right now what I'm wearing, it's not an FTM specific brand like Rodeo or FTM Down Under. It is from a local store called Package Menswear. Um, it's catered to the gay male scene, to be honest with you, but uh, Sam introduced me to the store a few months ago, um, showing me that a lot of the brands there have pouches um, that perfectly fit a packer. So I'm going to show you my all-time all favorite one that I'm wearing right now. Okay. <laughs> the brand is addicted, and I fucking love it. Um, so there is a thin layer of fabric right in between my anatomy and um, my packer, which I love. I personally do not like the feeling of silicone on my skin, so um, I prefer uh, underwear with pouches. Uh, yeah, so what he means by pouches, like, uh, so if you guys have ever seen, like, Rodeo, they have, like, the pouch on the inside of their underwear that you put your packer in and it just kind of sits there. Um, what I like about, like, gay boy underwear is that the, um, the pouch is a lot smaller, um, typically it's used for cis males to be able to like enhance their junk. It makes it look bigger, but it's literally like So there's like a little hole right here. You see that little, little circle and it just sits right here um, It does still like hold our stuff up So it does make our junk look a little bit bigger, but not too big where it just looks like it's fake You know what I mean? Um, I like this though because it's like super secure like my hand barely fits in this like it's a really tight um, space, so it's great. Um, Rico likes the briefs. I personally prefer jock straps or assless underwear just because I feel more secure. Plus, they're cute and <laughs> I'm super queer, so fight me. Um, but yeah, so I really, really like it. Um, Andrew Christian, Addicted. Um, I have some Marco Marcos. These are all different brands that are typically gay male brands. Oh, yeah, ES. They actually have a really great pouch as well. This is hard to show. Yeah, this but, one you put it in through the side instead yeah. of like an up and down. It's like you stick it in on the side and it'll it's stay inside in there. Out. You see that little sleeve there? Yeah, that's where you put your guy. Um, be careful. Definitely, um, if you think it's a little bit too loose, I would suggest not investing in it. I thought I could get a little bit bigger of a size. That's what this guy is, and there was uh, maybe an inch gap between my anatomy and my packer, and that is the most uncomfortable thing I've ever experienced. Yeah. So definitely have a tight fitting. Yeah. Um, like I have this pair and it's Trophy Boy by Andrew Christian. And it doesn't necessarily have like a pouch like you would usually see. Um, it doesn't have like the little like circle with the extra fabric. But what it does have is like extra room for your dick to go in. And I can wear these. Wait, can you show us? Because I've never seen that. So it's... Oh. It's essentially just like a little area for your dick to sit in. It, like I said, it, it's typically made for cis males to like enhance their packages and it makes it look bigger. Um, with these, uh, like Rico said, it just kind of makes a disconnect between your packer and your anatomy. Um, it hangs lower. Um, it kind of shakes around. It looks a little bit skinnier. More. Yeah, it, it flops more. If, yeah, you get sideways dick um, mm -hmm. occasionally. Um, I like these when... I'm wearing like tighter pants that it still feels comfortable, but if I'm wearing like a pair of shorts or something um, that are loose fit, I will not wear something like this. Yeah. Just because our biggest fear is that our dicks will fall out of our pants. And well, we I will, definitely need pouches yeah. that'll never fucking happen to me. Yeah. So I have a couple pairs. Like these ones are super, super tight. And so even when, even though it doesn't have necessarily like a pouch, like you can show the inside out. You can't really see anything when it's inside out. Yeah. So it's kind of got the little lines right here that you can see. Um, and it's got like a little dip right here that you can tell. But um, And these are super tight, so this will still stay out to my body pretty well. Um, but again, I won't wear it with like shorts or anything. I'll typically wear those if I'm wearing like full length pants. Um, but yeah, my go-to, like I said, are typically like jock straps or something uh, like what Rico's wearing that has like specifically that little circle where they're your packer can go in. Mm -hmm. um, also be wary of what size packer you got. This underwear is pretty small, so 
<laughs> Be careful what size packer you got. Make sure it fits. Um, well, I actually, I have a when I was a younger T boy and thought that I could wear a <laughs> six and a half inch flaccid penis oh because God. that's appropriate. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would wear jock straps, and what I noticed is I was, I don't know if you guys have ever like watched. RuPaul's Drag Race or seeing a drag queen or talk to drag queens and know how they tuck, I would have to tuck. Um, so essentially I'd have to like wrap the, my shaft around my balls and put it back towards my butthole and essentially tuck uh, in order so my package didn't oh look really big. Uh, so since then I've learned and I wear a smaller packer now and that's okay. Uh, but you can, if you do wear a big, bigger packer, if that's your preference, cool, do that. Um, just know that you'll have to like wrap it around your balls just so it doesn't like stick out. That's yeah. Really cool. um, great thing about these underwear is they're really cute. Um, there's a lot of different variety, a lot of different styles, a lot of different colors, a lot of different patterns, and that's awesome. We love looking good. We love underwear. Rico and I are obsessed with underwear. <laughs> um, bad side about it is they can get pricey. Rico typically pays like Twenty twenty five dollars a pair. Is that what you Absolutely said? Absolutely not. No. Is that what you said? Thirty no. to forty. Okay, Rico pays thirty to forty. Um, I have gotten lucky and typically only pay twenty five to thirty dollars. Um, if they're on sale, I will get them for twenty bucks. I think it's because you. I'm not comfortable with jocks. That's your cup of tea. I need a pouch. You're indifferent. That's probably why there is yeah. a little price uh, price difference. The great thing about stores like Package, though, um, I'm sure that there's a lot of stores like Package in different cities, especially if the gay scene there is really big. Um, you can try them on in store, so you can bring your packer with you and try on the underwear, see what feels comfortable, see what feels safe, and that's great. Um, but like I said, they, um, they are a little bit pricier, um, so you have to be willing to throw down some cash for underwear. So, that's enough of Package. Are we going to do Rodeo? Yes. Cool, Rodeo. Y'all probably know Rodeo. If you're yeah. not, if you if you don't know what we're talking about, we'll link it in the description, but you should yeah. know. It's like the number one brand, don't you think? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah exactly. So we are doing a uh, Rodeo-specific uh, review video. Um, keep a lookout for that. Keep a lookout for that. Nice. Definitely check that out when it's up. But just to do a little touch base on them, uh, Rico and I both own their packing underwear. These are mine. Um, as we'll discuss in the video, they all are made with a pouch in them. Yes. The pouch is significantly bigger, as you can tell, than the other ones, which is kind of a downside in us, in our opinion, um, just because we do notice that we get like the sideways dick that we talked about, um, and that's kind of not cool. I thought um, you were going to be in your underwear for this episode. Oh, my God. God damn, and you have shoes on. That's my kink. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. I thought I was a jock for a second. No, it's not. You're welcome. Damn, it should have been. It should have been, right? Everybody would love to see no, my axe. Get as much views. I know. I can just <laughs> show my butt real quick. Okay. Just moon everyone in the world. <laughs> You're welcome, y'all. Put it in the thumbnail. Hey. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways <laughs> uh, so, yeah, downside to Rodeo um, is that they do have like a bigger pouch. Um, unless you're wearing like super tight jeans and even if you are wearing super tight jeans it is likely that they will like flop around so you'll have to adjust yourself a lot which isn't always a bad thing because cis guys adjust their penises all the time so you it. know whatever you whatever um great thing about rodeo um they are a queer based brand so you're supporting queer people if love that mm -hmm. um yeah the other great thing about them is it comes in a uh, huge variety of sizes. Um, a lot of things about gay boy underwear, like, I'm not necessarily a small guy, but a lot of the underwear is made for, like, smaller men. Um, they definitely have more variety for people Rico size than my size. It's typically a lot harder for me to find something except for jock straps in my size. Um, so that's definitely something I like love about radio is that they ha definitely have something for everybody, whether you are Rika size or my size or bigger or smaller, whatever you are, yeah. they have something for you. And yeah, my main selling point, the quality. Mm -hmm. My The first uh, rodeo I have bought two years ago, I still have, and it is like, I just bought it yesterday. I love it. It's a harness underwear, so you can have fun with it. It's... This is 50 bucks, but to last over two years, I am not complaining at all. Yeah. Like, this is amazing. Yes. I love it. Um, yeah, I 
am super impressed with the quality of them. I like also that they have different styles, so you can get briefs, boxer briefs, which is what these are, so they go like midway down my thighs, or you can get the biker ones if you like a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, I have a pair of those too, and they're super comfy, especially if you're just lounging around that day. Um, but yeah, they're really awesome. They also have a lot of different styles, a lot of different colors, so definitely you'll, you'll you can find yeah. your preference for that. This like, is the bandana one, I think. And those ones are super cute. I have those, too. And I got a camo one, I think. Mm -hmm. And then, and like, just... the gray checkered. Yeah. And they also have, like, a black and red checkered ones that are cool. And then my new favorite ones that I just saw that I'm really excited to get is, like, this maroon with, like, a floral the print. Floral gray. I love yeah. the maroon. Yeah, Y'all keep doing something with maroon. Radio. <laughs> Thanks. Love it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I also just got these ones say. are, uh, don't look at my dick. Uh, these ones are their collection uh, harness underwear, and what I love about this is that the um, they have like a, f it's got the O-ring on the inside, so I can play with these, but it's got like two little things right here, so I can close it, and it's not like my dick is showing the whole time unless I want it to, and that's great, yeah. um, so I can like hide my pack or whatever. Um, they're also super comfortable, uh, They it fits really well to my body, it's really tight fitting, so... Playing is great, and they're not. Mine were actually cheaper than Rico's. Mine were only thirty-five. Yeah, which is great. So always look out for their deals and their sales they have going on. Yeah, because those are awesome. My harness underwear, like I said, is fifty bucks. Um, I have the open O-ring because I separate my pay, my play from my packing. That's just yeah. Um, because what I've noticed is if I pack with this, no matter what I do to try to hide this O-ring, it'll still show through with shorts, jeans, anything, and that just triggered dysphoria for me, honestly. Um, there is different size O-rings for, uh, harness underwear for rodeo, so please beware. If you're using this for play, check out the girth of whatever you're used to playing and make sure it'll fit. Um, Sam has a little bit bigger of an O-ring, and, um, if you have something to play with as a suction cup and you want the balls to be exposed, uh, get a bigger ring. Yeah, my, I got the 1.75 O-ring, and well, my balls are able to be exposed, and it just fits the suction cup, and it feels super secure, and that's great for me. I like that a lot, um, so definitely recommend that. Um, yeah, overall, I'm super stoked about Rodeo, so if you want to stick with like a queer-based queer, queer -based brand um, that's not necessarily just for gay men, um, definitely check out Rodeo. They're awesome. Yeah, and um, also one thing in hindsight with my harness underwear... Next time, my next purchase, I'm going to get briefs because the length, when I'm doing the dirty, this is going to like be riding up anyway. It's going to look like a brief. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's why I Hindsight, got the briefs. It's great. Less fabric, yeah. the better because we're just getting yeah. hot and sweaty. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, and when you're fucking, you want to be almost as naked as possible. Anyways, yeah. You know what I mean? And like, I might want to get like a closer to a skin tone if that's possible. Yeah. But you live and you learn. and you live and learn. That's why I make videos like this. So you can kind of bounce ideas off other people. No. Definitely. So another brand of uh, hardest underwear that I have tried and still have is called Packer Gear. And I think you could get that at pretty much any adult store locally. Mm -hmm. um, and it was about half the price as a rodeo. I got it for like $22, $25. So what it looks like, same gist. But if I turn it inside out, it's very different. So... Instead of a pouch opening up at the top like this, it's to the side. So you gotta do that. Stick your guy through there. That's, um, I hate the side-by-side -side thing because if you got something hard in there or just anything, this, it, it will not lay flat. So it's just rubbing up against you and I, yeah, it's really, really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But I um, got a hard on. Nothing's yeah. up against that. <laughs> yeah, unless it's some four one fancy shit, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, quality is definitely not there compared to Rodeo. I've had this maybe at the same time, amount of time as Rodeo, the harness, so a couple years. It's starting to wear and tear. Um, but hey, if you can't afford uh, 50 bucks, if you can't pay online for any reason, you can go locally. This is better than nothing, you know what I mean? And another fun little aspect of this is there's a little pouch here to fit a bullet. So a small little vibrating thing, if you're, if that's your cup of tea, you can do that. That's nice. Yeah, and there's like an elastic band in here too. I have no idea what this is for. So if you're watching this and you know what this is for, please comment below and let me know. I'm really curious. 
Um, oh my god, and there's another little thing. You could put two bullets in here. That's a lot. <laughs> I would be overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> so there's many facets to this, but um, that is another brand um, of uh, underwear, and you could also get it on. There's also things where uh, there's like pouches. It's like, what do they call like Joey pouches or something? Joey pouch. Joey pouch. Those are like 10, 15 bucks, and you can pin them to regular underwear if you don't want to get fancy underwear. So you could try something like that too mm -hmm. as an alternative. Um, uh, yeah. One brand I've always wanted to try, hopefully eventually, FTM Down Under. Mm -hmm. um, that's based out of Australia. Um, it has like a separate dangling piece of cloth or something connected to an O-ring. So you just like flip it into a pouch. And that's super cool. Mm -hmm. But, you know, O-rings can uh, cause a lot of wear and tear to packers. So yeah. So be aware with that. So that wraps it up for our U video. Hope you learned a few things from that. Yeah. And uh, next week, what are we doing? So everybody knows that last week was Transgender Day of Visibility. Um, but this week, 4B, we are going to talk about visibility and what that means and why it's important. Um, not everybody can be visible, but we're going to talk about why we've chosen to be visi with visible and what that means and what you can do as a visible trans person for your community. And yeah, we're just going to touch on that a little bit. Um, talk about situational visibility and... Yeah. Just like situations where we might choose not to be as visible or might not might choose to be more stealth, but right. yeah. Cool. We'll touch on that next week. Yeah, so you know what to do. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share, and we'll see you next week, y'all. Bye. Bye.